Hey there Aquarius and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading from July 7th through July 13th and we're going to take a look at past, present, future, and any energies that the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. So let's get started. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week or the one that's going to be the most difficult for you to deal with is the six of wands. Feeling happy, feeling successful, feeling victorious in a situation. Um, we're going to see more what that's about when we clarify. In your recent past, you get the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus. <clears throat> It doesn't have to be, it could just be a very serious connection, like a marriage or um, something very stable, very long term like that. I see you approaching the situation in a bit of, there's confidence mixed with control here, okay? And I see you holding on to it almost for dear life. Kind of like this connection, I want it, I'm going to get it, and I'm holding on to it, and I'm not letting go, and that's it. Like that's, that's just what it is. Um, showing up in your recent past. In your current situation, you get the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles. You want to open up. I see you doing so. Moving forward in whoever this person's connection is, um, I see you moving in this direction to offer them their, your cup of love, to express your feelings, to let them know that you have emotions for them. But this Five of Pentacles is showing up here. So either there was a separation, that, or there is a separation that's happening in your current situation, or this is pain from the past. This is like fear of having the, the past separation repeat itself, rejection, etc. showing up for you. We'll see more once we clarify. In your near future, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. You want to work on reestablishing, rebuilding a foundation with whoever this person is. And there's also the energy of a new beginning in love. So this new romance could be somebody new, it could be like, you know, with the current situation person that you're dealing with, there is a new start uh, in love to whatever this is. However, you're juggling two energies. So what that's telling me is that you may be juggling two people, Aquarius, you have this new person that's come into your life, and then you have wanting to work on rebuilding the past, rebuilding the foundation with the person from the past. And you could be juggling these two energies. Again, <clears throat> we'll see more once we clarify. So Let's get started by clarifying this Hierophant in your recent past. What is the Hierophant in the recent past all about for Aquarius? The Hierophant is clarified by the Devil, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords. I see you having a lot of love for this person. Okay, again, this does show up as a marriage or a very serious commitment to you on your side. I see you having a lot of love for this person. I see you, however, turning your back away from this for some reason. Now, the devil is showing up here to let me know that there was some toxic energy that showed up. Now, it could be that this person was bringing in the toxicity, or it could just be that something in the dynamic was creating toxic negative energy between the two of you. Either way, I see you kind of like turning your back away and being like, okay, no, no, I'm not dealing with this. Like, forget that. Um, so it could be that you're walking away from the toxicity and just focusing on the love aspect, or it could be that you're just moving away from the connection entirely where you're like, yeah, I know there's love here. I know that this is like a super stable long-term commitment, but this toxic energy is not for me. Um, let's take a look at the emperor in your recent past. What is this emperor about? The Emperor is clarified by the King of Cups, the Sun, the Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This is a divinely guided connection. This is someone that you feel is like a good counterpart for you. Um, there's a lot of love between the two of you. No doubt that there is love here. No doubt whatsoever. Okay? So, um, with the King of Cups, the Sun, and the Eight of Swords, I see you again. You're like, okay, I don't want to deal with this. But then you're like, ah, oh, but there's so much love there and this person makes me so happy. And so what that causes is you being all up in your head about it. You're stressing out about it. You're like, well, what should I do? Maybe this is the right thing. Maybe this is not the right thing. Maybe I should approach them. You know, there's a whole bunch of things running through your head. And I can understand why. This person, there's so much love. There's You have happiness attached to them. Um, and I can see you, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Um, I can see why that would stress you out if you feel like there's also toxicity associated with that. Let's take a look at this Four of Pentacles in your recent past. Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Swords, two Knights. Something is definitely happening here. You're making something happen. You're taking action. <sighs> However, I see you taking very slow action, right? You're making something happen. We'll see more what that is in the current situation. I feel like you're about to open up to this person or this person's opening up to you. You're taking action. It's very slow, right? It's like you're almost kind of like conflicted where it's like you want to go really fast, but you know it's better to take small progressive steps. So I see you doing that, but I also see some resistance here. So you're moving towards this um, actively, but you're also kind of resisting it, kind of pushing it back, which again makes sense because I do see some toxicity here. I do see you being up in your head about it. And so I can understand why you would be a little bit resistant to just go and be gung ho about the situation and just kind of dive in head first. Let's take a look at this Knight of Cups. Oh, too many cards, Spirit. Help me clarify the Knight of Cups in the current situation for Aquarius, please. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, this person, lots of feelings here. There's definitely a lot of feelings between you and this person. You also have this energy where you're approaching um, emotional fulfillment or wish fulfillment, whatever that is, we'll, we'll see in the current situation, with this person, but you're doing it very slowly. There's a lot of waiting here, okay? So even though you have feelings for this person, even though you are taking action and you're moving towards them, with an actual offer, like you're texting them, calling them, whatever, communicating with them somehow. Um, even though you are going to do that, you're taking your time. You're kind of pausing beforehand and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this once I'm ready. And I see this having a positive um, reaction, either from the other person or from you, because it brings about emotional fulfillment. It brings about emotional balance. Let's take a look um, at this chariot in your current situation. And by the way, just to clarify, Clarice, the emotional balance doesn't have to be from the other person. The emotional balance could just be you finally grounding your energy and, and following what you feel or how you want to act, and that is giving you emotional balance, regardless of how the other person responds. Um, that's what I meant to say. Um, the chariot, please. Show me clarifiers for the chariot energy <clears throat> in the current situation. The chariot is clarified by the justice, the two of pentacles, the hangman. You want to move towards this person to create balance, right? This is what your energy is all about. Bringing in balance, bringing in an equal give and take, bringing in a, an energy that feels fair to both you and this other person. But you're also juggling this other energy of kind of like being stuck a little bit. You want to move forward, but you're also kind of standing in place. And I see you not being able to create this sense of balance because you're not actually doing anything about it, okay? Um, energetically, you want to. Absolutely, you want to. But you're also kind of like, do I want to? Should I? Da, da, da. You're kind of going back and forth about it, which results in you actually not doing anything. Um, and again, this could be you, this could be your person, but this is your reading, so you get to have this put on you. Let's take a look at the Five of Pentacles in your near or your current situation five of pentacles is clarified by the five of swords the page of swords and the moon okay so here's the thing aquarius um you're carrying this fear that this won't work out now i understand why you have so much resistance now i understand why you're not doing anything you want to create this sense of balance. You want to move toward this person, but you have this strong fear of it's not going to work out. I'm going to be abandoned. This isn't going to happen. This separation is just going to stay separated um, or this might result in a separation, whatever the case may be. Okay. So what you end up doing is instead of actually taking action and moving and doing what you want to do, you end up self-sabotaging yourself. Now, here's the funny part. You're not even aware of this. 
you may not be aware that you're carrying this fear of this not working out or some abandonment, some breakup, like something not working out. You may not even be aware that you're carrying this fear. And so you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take action. I'm going to make this happen. Like, you know, balance, etc. cetera, blah, blah, blah. And then instead of actually doing something, you're just kind of like, um, you know, I don't want to. And the reason this energy of like, eh, I don't want to is coming up or you staying stuck is because you're afraid it's not going to work out. And again, I don't know if you're not aware of this energy, like this is happening behind the scenes on a subconscious level where you're not even aware of this, or you may be aware of this, but you're not willing to face it. You're kind of like, yeah, 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 that's fine. It's there. We're not looking at this right now. Okay. Um, so that's the energy showing up for you in the current situation. Let's take a look at this three of pentacles in your near future. What is this three of pentacles about in the near future? Three of pentacles is clarified by the ace of cups, the fool, the king of pentacles. You got the ace of cups twice in your near future. Definitely a new beginning in love. Definitely a new love offer coming in for you. Are you making a love offer to somebody else? New romance. Um, so again, I see you wanting, to me, this may be with the, the person from the past. I don't see this as being somebody new because to me, the three of pentacles is um, reestablishing a foundation with someone likely from your past, or it could just be someone that feels very, very familiar to you. But there's definitely you wanting to take a leap of faith and just being like, F it, I'm going to go pursue this. I want a new beginning with this person. And I see you coming from a grounded energy, coming from a very grounded place. So I don't see all this like crazy energy of you being in the mind. It's almost like you kind of shut that off and you're like, okay, I'm grounding my energy. I know what I want. I'm going to go pursue this and I'm going to take the risk because it does feel a bit risky. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to make this happen with this person. And this could be a new person. To me, this feels like a person from your past that you're doing this with, but it could be a new person for some of you. Let's take a look at the Two of Pentacles in your near future. Yeah, you have three aces. Something's definitely happening here. And again, the Three of Cups to me is reconciliation. So I feel like this is a person from your past. Um, the Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. You want to reconcile with this person. You want to take action and work on bringing this reconciliation back, okay? Again, you have three aces, which is telling me that not only do you have the energy that you want to, it's very likely that something is actually going to take place in the near future in like the 3D world. I see you putting in the work. I see you working towards reconciling with this person and being very clear about uh, your desire to reconcile with them. Clear with yourself, I mean. Um, there's none of this confused up in your head energy anymore. Let's take a look at this Ace of Cups in your near future. What is this Ace of Cups about in the near future? Wow. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Six of Wands, which is the main energy for you this week. The Six of Cups, the Four of Wands. Definitely, definitely someone from your past. This is a divine connection. This is a very strong commitment, okay? This is a long-term commitment. This is someone that you've been with for a while or it feels very serious, kind of like a marriage or like a twin flame situation. Um, I don't throw out the twin flame card very often because I feel like it's so misused. But when I see the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands paired together, to me, that's like divine, divine connection. So twin flame soulmate situation, I see you being victorious, being successful with this person. And I understand now why the Six of Wands is the main energy for your reading, because in, there it goes, in your past, in your current situation, it is very confused energy, very much back and forth. I want this. I do this. I won't do this. You're fighting yourself. And then in the near future, it's like all of that kind of goes away and you just get really clear and you're like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm doing it. And this is what is happening. And I see you being successful in this connection with this person who you feel is divinely guided towards you. And it feels like a very strong um, commitment um, showing up for you in the near future. So Let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Aquarius. For the energies this week, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. There's a decision here that needs to be made on your behalf. I see you already making this, so this isn't like you have to sit down and figure this out. 
Um, you're going to make an offer to someone. Someone is going to make an offer to you either or um, to bring back balance in the situation between you and this person to create an equal give and take because in these energies in the past, I don't see a very balanced energy despite having the desire to achieve this balance. I don't see that balance created. The energies that, you know, kind of may be underlying or hidden from you this week is you are actively making a decision to approach this person slowly slowly but you're still approaching this person to restore or create the sense of balance between you and then uh and this other person in this dynamic so aquarius that is the reading that i have for you thank you so much for tuning in if you found that this reading resonated please do me a huge favor give the video a thumbs up drop a comment below hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and of course thanks again for tuning in i will see you here for your reading next week bye aquarius